I just want to talk a little bit about Rhiannon and the Rhiannon we know today comes from the Mabinogi but her roots lie back in pre-Roman Britain and back in Gaul with the great Gaulish goddess Epona, the goddess of the horse. And Epona, like Rhiannon, had links to birds. She was often portrayed riding side saddle and she was accompanied by a bird, a dog and a young foal that are so important was Epona that she was the only Celtic goddess to make it into the Roman pantheon in her own right. She was venerated by the Roman cavalry and she was given her own day of feasting by the Romans and that was the 18th of December. Now it appears that the Romans brought Epona with them across when they invaded Britain. Now some say there was already an existing cult, both Brythonic and Gaelic. The Brythonic being a cult of a goddess named Rigantona and the Gaelic being the Morrigan and it's believed that when the Romans came over they merged Epona with Rigantona and that's an old Brythonic name or Brythonic word which means great queen and funnily enough there is a link there with the Irish Morrigan whose name also means great queen but there's also an argument to say that Rigantona the Morrigan were of the same origins anyway and certainly of the same archetype now there's plenty to read about Rhiannon in the Mabinogi and for this one I'll let you go and research that one for yourself because I do want to do a video on that but more a discourse into the meaning or the meanings of the symbolism behind the story than the Mabinogi. For now I want to discuss the history, the origins and try to get a sense of, you know, or, or portray a sense of what the Mabinogi was all about really. I mean, it was a manuscript that was probably written certainly in post-Christian Britain. So the Christians had arrived and it was a manuscript that was believed to have been written around the 11th century or sources of it had been written at around the 11th century and then Lady Charlotte Grey compiled a lot of these manuscripts, compiled a lot of these stories into what we now know as the Mabinogian. So the Mabinogi sources, going back to the 11th century, talks about spirits, it doesn't really mention goddesses, they became goddesses afterwards but characters such as Epona 
such as belly. These were drawn from pre-Roman gods. So there was the cult of belly, which was probably the most widespread cult in Gaul, and that stretched right through from Austria through to France, down to Spain and Italy, and then up into Britain. And we have Rhiannon, who was the great queen, and she's portrayed to us as a noble lady from the other world who comes to us riding on a great white horse. And her roots go back to the horse goddess, Epona, 